responsible and tells us what detectives found inside their home. John? Bill, the search warrants for the search warrants for the Western Henrico County home in Twin Hickory are very detailed, involving an abandoned building here behind me in Goochland County, a drop off, a TV drop off at Deep Run High School. Crime Insider sources tell me police say there's no longer a mystery about the man behind the mask. On Shadow Run Lane, a search warrant sheds light on an investigation. And RICO detectives have channeled their energy into for the past three weeks. It seems like a practical joke kind of a thing. Uh, kind of surprised it would happen here though. August 11th, in the overnight hours, this guy, dubbed TV Head, made his rounds, dropping off more than 50 old TVs on random porches in Glen Allen. His deliveries with a wave and maybe a smile. I'd probably get a slight chuckle. Uh, just because I'd be like, oh, you know, what is this thing doing here? And then not think too much of it and just throw it in the back of the truck and then take it down to the dump. Harry MacGyver lives down the street from this home. Crime Insider sources say more than half a dozen officers, including a detective, searched the property around 11 Friday morning. I tried to get the 19-year-old person of interest to the door for his side of the story, but no answer. The warrant states the man can face three charges, dumping trash, trespassing, and felony wearing a mask in public. They're going to have to prove it with circumstantial evidence. So the the any evidence of, that his sister's involved, you know, they can tie her to him potentially. Um, the the clothing, if they did search warrants and they recovered clothing, they could potentially match that up with what they've captured on the surveillance cameras. So they would have to piece it together with all that information. Court documents show both. The young man's sister was caught dropping TVs off on the side walk of Deep Run High and spray painting senior on them, which she confesses to police is senior pronounced with a lisp. Court documents also revealing that the teen was caught by Goochland deputies around a building recently burglarized. More than 30 TVs stashed inside an old abandoned building being demolished by SB Cox. CBS 6 legal expert Todd Stone says stay tuned to see how this one plays out. One thing the prosecutor has is a lot of leverage because there could be multiple counts for each day that he's out putting televisions on people's porches. And te technically, Bill and Candace, Todd Stone says the man could be charged with 52 felonies for wearing the TV head mask, likely. Probably not. The young man has not been arrested. We will release his name once police pick him up. Working for you in Goochland County tonight, John Burkett, CBS 6 News.